Hey, what's up guys? It's Reflex and today no one asked for this video, but I'm making it anyway And it's about how I store all of my stationery including things like fountain pens, inks, paper Pencils, lead, all of those kinds of things. So we're starting off here at my homework desk My writing desk, whatever. I have two desks um, My other one on the other side of the room my other one is just for gaming and entertainment. I try to keep like school, work, all that kind of stuff separate from that. So I just use this tiny little desk I got on Amazon for like 50 bucks or something. Um, I use it for homework, school type things, um, calligraphy, journaling, all those types of things where I want room to write because I do have my laptop here, but I can easily move this and have the whole desk area to work. So if we just take a quick look over to the left, if we can just turn over there smoothly. You can see I keep my Lamy 2000 ready to go at all times. Gotta love that autofocus, geez. Um, and then over to the right, I have you can see my samurai stand and uh, let's see here and then I also have a little pin organizer thing I'm um, at the top I have a retro 51 rollerball gel whatever uh, this is a periwinkle pixie and then I also have the moonman c1 with the flex nib and my favorite eraser, which is the Air Touch, made by Tombow. Um, and then under that, I have it organized by like types of things ish. So the first drawer is all of my favorite stuff that I use the most often. So highlighters, pens I use for school, those kinds of things. And then under that is things I use often as well, but like that aren't pens. So eraser. Um, ruler, bookmarks, post-it notes, that kind of thing. And then the last drawer is all of my like stuff I used to use for bullet journaling, which I don't really do anymore, um, but they can still be useful. So stuff like fine liners, white gel, jelly roll pens, um, brush pens, those kinds of things. And that's pretty much it for this desk. But over to the left, I also keep some things that I use frequently when I'm sitting at this desk. So let's go ahead and move over there. All right, I apologize, it is a little messy, but you see I have this little like cube drawer thing, dresser thing, I don't know what you call this, bookshelf type thing. Um, I mostly use it for shoes, but it is right beside my desk that we were just at. I apologize, my room is super messy. Um, but in this top little drawer, I have my school notebook, the Kokio campus, and then you see this box underneath, or not underneath, but behind it, that is full of all of my letters stuff, so envelopes and cute little letters and stuff like that, and then on top of it I just have some stuff I use for YouTube and my webcam I have to use for school for proctored online tests. Over to the left I have some old notebooks that... I used in like high school and then some other random notebooks uh, that's my music notebook from school from college my a plus book uh, Bible and then calligraphy Bible and then this is all my calligraphy stuff right here this little chunk right there and then we also have a correspondence channel and discord it's kind of like um, writing letters to each other but it's you just send a picture over discord instead of actually sending a letter which is pretty useful and then we can go ahead and move down to the second drawer and this is where I keep some other notebooks I don't use as often but I like to keep on hand so um, I'm currently at about a2 level for German so I'm using this for notes currently and then I have a Rhodia notebook that I use as just a crappy notebook to do calligraphy stuff. You can see it doesn't have any papers left. Um, another Rhodia notebook, a cheap composition notebook that I use to just scribble, 
and an old Kokio campus that I used for my first math class in college, but then I didn't use the whole notebook, so now I just use it when I want to test fountain pens in the campus notebook. Um, and then I also have all of the little notebooks I used in Paper Showdown. So, you know, if anyone's ever like, hey, I know you have a Lamy 2000, how does it perform on blah, blah, blah paper? I can whip out a little sample of it and try that. And I also have some scissors. I have a calculator, a rickshaw three pin sleeve, another Lee Hit Lab case, uh, field book for my grandpa, finances book, my old bullet journal, and my old normal journal under that. Uh, and I also have a little cutting sheet. I forget what you call those, but you use like an X-Acto knife on it. And then under that, I have just like random coloring books, colored pencils, and my Pilot Parallels. I do keep my most commonly used one right there, but the rest are down here. And then that's just some embroidery stuff behind it. But now we can move on over here. Ignore my messy room. But over there I have a foot locker that I keep all of the stationery I don't commonly use but still want to have on hand. So let's go ahead and move over there and check it out. All right, let's take a quick look into here. Um, of course, my dog wants to come say hi. Please get off of me. This is what I get for sitting on the floor. <laughs> Please stop. Go away, you're gross and smelly. Stop, Penny, go away. So just a rocket book core paper. Um, honestly, I'm gonna throw that away. Don't know why I still have that. I have a ton of teeny tiny Rhodia notebooks. I got 20 from a dude on Facebook. Same dude I got this from and maybe some other stuff in here. Um, but I gave some away and I've already started using one. So that's how many I have left now. Then I just have a hole puncher and then a cute little Rhodia like gift box novelty type thing. And it has a pencil and some notebooks. There was another notebook in here I gave to my mom, but I honestly just bought it for <laughs> the packaging. <laughs> And then over here on the left side, you'll see just my collection of all these notebooks I have. So I have like one of those things you put a legal pad in that my mom gave me. I have the five star, oh, I guess, yeah, there are five star papers I used um, in, at the start of college. That's not my number anymore. But yeah, I used it because you could take the paper in and out you can take the rings off which is pretty neat and I have all of those I use those until I switch to using my iPad for notes which I did for about a year or so and then when I went to all online I sold my iPad because I stopped taking notes because I wanted to use my fountain pen um, there's the rocket book I have a notebook my old boss gave me that looks like a laptop Love that. Uh, just a bunch of random notebooks. I have another Kokio Campus for school once my other one runs out. Another Leuchtturm 120G. Just a bunch of random notebooks. Um, I have some stickers down here. I have my box I keep all my stickers in. Um, just some other random stickers I haven't put in there yet. Some... I love these index stickers. They're really tiny. So I just got that in there. I have the Sarasa marble. Honestly, don't really like them. They don't write that well. I might just need to write with them some more, but I bought them because they're neat. I have some Propus highlighters. The ones that aren't in there are in that little uh, pin organizer I showed earlier because I use them for school. have some, if I can get them out, Crayola Super Tips in a Ninja Roll, or Niji. I 
I also see I have some flashcards. I have the aluminum pin case from Muji. I bought it when I bought the aluminum fountain pen. Thought it was neat. I have the Pilot Ballistic Vest Roll. I believe that's what it's called. Um, and it just has all my pick <laughs> crystals. <laughs> As any sane pen collector has. I did used to use it as my main pen storage before I got so many fountain pens. Um, and then I got that like binder looking thing that you can see in my video over there if I do that. Um, or in the description below of my fountain pen collection. So then I have this like, well it's supposed to be a drawer organizer. Uh, I have some random like tabs, double sided tape, binder clips novelty eraser I got from some company I forget what it's called it's a Chinese company um stapler staple remover staples I got some Stabilo boss highlighters are the mini ones some zebra mild liners I have some Copics and then under that I have uh, the Windsor Newton versions of Copics their own alcohol markers and then I have some pins and whatnot that I don't use frequently, but every once in a while I use to compare to another pin or something like that. So Pilot Varsity, a pencil, Precise V5, uh, neat eraser I like. Uh, who makes this? Stadler. And then I have my pencil stuff. So I have a Tombow, oh, what is this, uh, 4H. I have a compass, I have all my LEDs, erasers, pencil sharpeners, those kinds of things. Um, and I have my favorite little sticky thing that I use to stick paper to other paper, which is the Kokio dot liner. I actually bought the refill in Japan thinking it was this, which I guess technically you could just use this, but this is a refill. Um, so then when I got back home, I bought the actual thing and I still have the refill and I went to Japan years ago and I use this a lot so this thing lasts forever it feels like and then I also have a little corner rounder so you can stick the corner of a paper in here and then go punch it and then it rounds the corners and has a small medium and large I mostly use that for like letters to people and then I have some copy paper. It's not like the best. It's not 32 pound or anything. It's not super great with fountain pens, but it works well enough. Like I can use a Pilot Parallel on it, which is pretty good. And then I also have just some lined paper, graph paper, just random paper. But if we open this lid, we get into the meat and potatoes. This is just a bag of pens I like. I'll be right back. I was about to start talking about this bag, but I forgot I didn't show my little rifle case, rifle pin case. So I have two of those um, and then some more index cards under those. But then yeah, this bag is just a bag of pins, pencils, whatever that I don't want to get rid of for whatever reason. Um, there's reasons for each of them, but I like don't use, don't need them. So I just keep them in this bag. So if I ever do need them at some point, they're there. Um, and then I have another Lee Hit Labs pin case. This keeps all of my Papermate Inkjoy <laughs> gels. Uh, big fan of these. These were what really kickstarted my pin addiction, hands down. Um, I got really into these and then I just started going down a rabbit hole of like really good pins. Next over here I have all my like pin boxes. You know, boxes your pins come in. I actually need to take out the Sailor 1911 one because I'm sending that back to the person who loaned it to me. Yeah, I have all the boxes. 
for the Lamy 2000, Kaweco, Tactile Turn, whatever. Um, and then it's just a bunch of random paper stuff here, tabs, uh, post-it notes, this adorable mini binder. How cute is that? That's not my phone number anymore, but I'm still probably going to blur that. Uh, label maker, label maker refills, um, my wax seal stuff. I think these are some Winsor & Newton pencils. Yep. And then there's some Sharpies and I think, yeah, some rubber bands. And then this cute little travel pack that has a mini stapler, mini hole punch, mini staple remover, mini tape, mini scissors, and mini staples. It's adorable. I got it at Target, of course, if you know that brand. Um, yeah, that's all my stationery. I have some other little things thrown all around the house in various locations, but that's the main stuff. That's how I store everything. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I didn't show it at first. I did kind of quickly mention it, but I realized I should probably put this in the video too. This is how I store the pens and pencils I actually really like, but not currently using. Um, it's just this little pen case. Uh, on the left side, I have my friction pens. I have a really cool dual metallic pin so I think it goes down pink with a blue like shimmer if I remember correctly uh, a Sara Sa R Pintel Smash two Kuru Togas and a old Bic from like the 80s or something and then over here is where I store all my fountain pens I'm not currently using or have inked up there will be some new additions to this soon also as I'm saying this I realize I didn't even show my ink what the heck? Let's go look at that. So this is like my fountain pen drawer. I have some accessories over here, a loop, um, all my inks, and then I have some more inks back there. I don't use that often. Uh, so Pelican 4001 Brilliant Black, Sailor Blue Black, and Sailor Gentle Black. Um, and then I have a color ring. Um, I just have some little color swatches and some accessories for my tactile turn bolt. Q-tips for swatching, some extra syringes, um, brass sheets, my Twisby wrench and silicone grease, some Goulet grips, and then one thing I did forget in the Foot Locker is these two bad boys kind of hidden. Uh, kind of hard to get to. Micro mesh and Mylar paper.